Hi everyone, this is Franchise Kingdom. Uh, before you skip, um, let me say, we are finishing One Punch Man. If you don't know, I do One Punch Man reactions. Uh, and I need to know what I'm gonna react next. As you know, One Punch Man was a follow-up um, after I finished Yuki Holder. So, it is a series of short episodes, okay? Or I mean, short series, like with few episodes. I think Yuki Holder had 13 episodes and One Punch Man had just two seasons of 20. I mean, of 12. Plus some OVAs. So it's really few episodes. Compared with Avatar that was like 61, just the last Airbender. Um, or any other series, like Food Wars also had a lot of episodes. So, let me know a series that you want me to direct that has few episodes. Now, that said, um, welcome. And we are here for episode 9 of the third season. Um, this has been... Probably my favorite season. Again, I know that this is hard to say. You're still um, not in the end, and things can go pretty bad, just like the second season did. But I think so far, not only this is the best season of The Legend of Korra, but I think it has the best villains of The Legend of Korra. I would say maybe. Well, I'm, I'm probably gonna do a video in the future talking about making reveals about it, um, theories about the future, and the things that the Avatar could done that I did not did, both the Last Airbender and the Legend of Korra. But yeah, and I may be saying too much, but I, I think the third season of Last Airbender is still the best season. And I really think the first season is really good, especially at the beginning and the end, like, really good. But I think this season is already way better than the second season of The Last Airbender as well. So, again, I, I'm saying this close to the end of the series, uh, I mean, close to the end of the season, so may, I hope my expectation not betray me. <laughs> right but yeah i think i talk too much uh so let's begin the episode in one pick out okay so let's see how Korra gonna face this new new enemy mako is just me right wanted by her majesty the earth queen for crimes against the kingdom I'm guessing <laughs> Almost the same face. I mean, again, Bumi and I agree. She was right to do the stuff that she was doing. So, girl. I always forget that it's a girl. Oh, sorry. I forgot to bring treats. But what? Good girl. What? You deserve that. Never forget the Scooby's next. First rule. I'm not gonna say anything to. Wow. Wow. Now we need our undercover identities. I'm an ex United Forces operative named Ting Ting. War was the only woman I ever loved until Ivy came along and showed me what real love is. Amazing. Tragically, she was taken from me by my arch enemy, Dr. Razor, and he loved me. It, it, it could be. <laughs> Amazing. It, could, it became worse than the, the disguise that Aang and Katara had in the West Lesser when that I find that it was fucking terrible every time they managed to make, to make something worse than that. Also, this place is not the same that we saw in uh, the desert episode. Episode that we learn about the um, white lotus. I'm just frustrated. What does he here want with me? What's his plan? Don't know. I don't know, but I think I found 
the clue. Wait, really? You you okay? You guys, not not even look into the car. Okay, what it is? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> of course, let's bust the door. <laughs> Why do you think that he knows that you are looking for that you are already there? Guess that was too easy. Wait, what? Okay. Could you make it out to Lily and Macau? Uh... <laughs> ah! Bowling, you you just like amazing. How you can be like never change, okay? You is the best one. See like look at that. <laughs> ah, bowling. Oh my gosh. Really? Okay, this is this begin to, to to be scary. Like, what the hell? It's kinda cute, but it's scary. Yeah, uh, yeah. I agree with. What the hell? Oh my gosh, bowling. Really? What the hell is that? This is really gonna be an episode of Pai Show. Of course. Of course. Uh, just like 99% of the games, board games of, of the planet. Just. No. Just retire. Really. You had no chance. I can't believe it either. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Okay. Really good. Yep. Yep. Already. <laughs> it is in my logbook. He's not going to be there. Oh. Okay, he's um, spirit. Oh, haha! <laughs> he got it that that place. Um, what's the name? Uh, last season. Um, something about lost souls or whatever. Wait, what? Oh, damn it! I call it Black Lotus. True. Of, of course, Unilax is involved. I was thinking about that last episode's um, review. I said something about Unilax being involved with them. Wait, what? How? Well. I say later. So, He's not that stupid. Just like he betrayed me. Yes. He allowed me and my friends to remain imprisoned while he pursued his own soul. Hmm. So what do you want? Like chaos? I don't really like, agree with what they've done, but taking out world leaders isn't the Yeah. Issue. It wasn't too long ago that the airbenders were nearly all wiped out thanks to the fire lord's desire for I mean, okay. Ah. Uh, I forgot how fanboy of Lahima he was. Okay, I, ha I have a lot of things to say about that. End of review. Yeah, I, I think it would be the best. Like, I, I still don't understand why you use fire is going to against someone that was water, and he that use earth like. That was not a good matchup at all. B 
What? What are you doing, Bonnie? How is stupid? Why are you going to the water? Like, he's using lava, not fire. You're not be protect there. Also, you have some water use water in your oh, oh my gosh. Bowling. True. I mean it's true. Good question. God damn it. <sighs> God damn it. I always trapped. At least now they are smart to uh, close her mouth so she cannot fire Bender from there. Wait, what? What? Her? Again? That was episode 9. Wow. So, a lot of things to say. Um, Zahir. His plan goes off in semi or maybe even fully anarchy terms like he wants to destroy the governments in a similar way it was what Amon think like they both have something that they think is the source of all evil Amon think that it was bending and Zahir thinks that is uh, governments and leaderships that got corrupt and yeah I'm gonna give you an example because they are in the North Kingdom. China. China, if you know anything about history, you know how China got to become what it is now. And at the end of every dynasty, we have a circle that the dynasty became corrupt. Then we have like feudal lords that became more powerful with the time of the old dynasty. That give him more uh, power to them because they got lazy, and then they become so powerful that because the the, the dynasty become corrupt, they overthrow them, and then it, everyone is happy, and they they became a new dynasty, and that with the time progress came evolution, and then they, with with time the descendants become lazy and then become corrupt, and you know the, the, the cycle turns on. The thing is, methods of rulership, you can say that one is better than the other, and I still think that democracy is the best one with all the problems that we have with them. But the, the whole problem is that with the time, things like that will happen. It's, it's not really a way to stop them. Using a real-life country that is millennials old, as an example, I think it's good to you to see how that works. Amon, as a villain, has the best concept of the whole show, I, including The Last Airbender. If Amon was not who he was, he could be the best villain ever of of the whole Avatar universe. I think the best villain is Azula. I just say that many times. But Zahir is the second and Amon is the third. That's it a lot. I mean, the, the villains in The Last Abend were, were really bad because usually they are really stupid. So they kind of destroy themselves every time. Um, with Zhao, they even appear here. Right, uh, the guy that I don't really care to remember in the second uh, season, what was the name, from the leader of the Dai Li. And we have Firewall that was really, I don't even consider that character a character. He, he, we don't know anything about them, about him at all, and he just is stupid. But Unalak, I think. Is a bad character. I think that he could be way better, but I think that how the season play out was not good for him. If they did what I think of dividing two seasons, one 
only for the Civil War and one for the Spirits, maybe he would be a better character. But for all we saw, even with the new information that I kind of already predicted in the past episodes, even so, he's not a better of a character. In fact, maybe that may may transform me in, in an even worse character. Amon could be the best character if he was not who he was, if he was like Bumi. Think of that. If he was Sokka. Think of that. How, how crazy would it be if he was one of them, Bumi or Sokka. Even if, if, if Amon was, I don't know, um, Bowling, if it was Mako, if it was uh, Sami, it would be better than who it turned out to be. But his ideals, like his ideals were as a villain really great. I think for the series, including uh, The Last of Us, okay, a, a show, uh, as a franchise, it would be really fucking amazing. It kind of got this completely destroyed because he was not a he he was a vendor after all. But here, it's okay. It's too early to say because it could happen something in the next episodes. But his idea was are interesting. He has to go to chaos to on that society go and reborn. I don't think it's necessary for society to go to chaos. Like you don't need to kill and destroy all the leaders uh, of society, make everyone go back 1,000 years, uh, 10,000 years of evolution to to go back and reborn better. It's not necessary that. Um, you can have, like for example, the Earth Kingdom, since we are here, okay? We have a system that is clearly not good from what we saw. All the times that we saw the Earth Kingdom, specifically Ba Sing Se, okay? We have with Kyoshi, um, we have the uh, corrupt king that Kyoshi need to defeat, and she kind of created Dai Li to protect, and you see how with time the Dai Li became corrupt as well, because of course they are serving the king that is also corrupt. So, of course, that was not a good idea from... Um, it's not that Kyoshi did not have a good idea. But the thing is, if you put then someone that is not corrupt under someone that is corrupt, with time, like with generations going on, even if, like, okay, these guys were never going to corrupt. Okay, good for them. But the, the generations... The, oh my gosh. The generations going to come, and then some... The grandson, whatever it, go, it goes on, someday will go corrupt, and then you you make the situation way worse. So I think the idea that Kyoshi had was not as good as could be. Again, I don't know how much you could done besides creating a civil war like Korra did. At least what from what we saw from that time to Kyoshi. Then we have um, Shin the Great. I don't know how much of that really is connected with each other. Maybe because of what she did with Ba Sing Se, Shin the Great appeared. Or was after, I don't know. But yeah, we have that. Maybe... Like, the problem is, from what we heard from Kyoshi, is that he was evil personnel. But, like, the Earth Kingdom, from what we have of technology, right now, okay? No, wait, from what we have technology at the time of the last Airbender, it was impossible for one person to rule everything in the, in the place. Now, maybe it is. I don't know how, because it looks like the Earth Kingdom is not, not even close to what Republic City is. And maybe even Fire Kingdom, we don't know how the Fire Kingdom is right now. I don't know. I still think it would be better off if new places appear in, in Earth Kingdom. We have the place that of the Metal Clan. Um, why they need to listen? to the queen like you, you know what what is coming 
And we still do not go to Omashu. So we don't know how much is there. But even at the, at the time of the last band, Omashu was way ahead of the time. So, I don't know. Republic of City has, has its problems, of course. But like... I don't know. I, I think I still need to to hear more of Zahir, what he really plans to do. But I do think that anarchy, which you, you, it's apparently what he wants, is going to solve any of the problem. I, and especially, it's not that the problem. I don't think it's necessary to go that way. Um, I understand what he's saying, and I agree with him. But I think you should have other methods to change that. Like, if you had someone like Unalak that was a leader of a nation on your side, you could not try change things for the better? Like, come on. At the time, the, the water tribe was one, north and south. So we have two, two places, which is one nation, whatever. Um, kind of in your control or in your range of... Um, Influence, like, and you also have Republic City. At the time, we have a council, which one of them was from the north. Like, come on, you see what I'm saying? Probably Earth Kingdom would be like the way that it is because it's that woman. But I'm sure you could. Maybe it would not work out just. Talking or okay, it's not gonna be that easy. But you don't need to destroy everything. It's not necessary. <sighs> also, really interesting that uh, I have to say that the episode that we saw it was the same place I, I remember very well. The episode that we discovered about the White Lotus that had the desert with the city um, in the middle that has the water fountain, ice. Um, and then we have in this episode bowling playing Paisho with Asami and also the discoverer of the name of the group is Red Lotus. So like I see this the resemblance. Um Bowling being a celebrity great. Um I do think that bowling has in this season and maybe in the end of the last season as well, kind of. Way more attention over him, more screen time than Mako had. Which is good. Um, I like him bowling way more. Especially second season bowling was not that great. Um, most of times. He was just using a, a comedic... Um, I don't know how to term in English, but like he was only used to be the comedy guy. So, yeah, and, and now he's being a uh, even 99% of the time he is being a comedy guy, but like he's being um, proactive in, in helping people way more. Mako don't have screen time much more. I think probably everyone has more than him. Asami, Bowling, Korra, of course, the main character. Um, and everyone in the Red Lotus, but everything that he, every time that he opens his mouth is probably something that I agree with, or 99% maybe, um, with him talking with Kai, giving a hard time to him, or he, to his brother, and giving uh, advice. Uh, I think you, even I would have to say that in, in the whole show, Mako always... Unless he is kind of involved somehow, he always good make the best advices. Like when he was liking Cora and he bowling asking about Cora, dating Cora, of course he he give a, a really bad advice. But after that, like he is giving good advice to bowling about like all his girlfriends uh, and. Uh, Everything that he usually says, I agree with. Like, 
Let's go storm the place. No, <laughs> Cora. And they, yeah, no, Cora. <laughs> Let's just stop and, and wait and see. Like, so, yeah, this is interesting. Um, I do think that he and Asami specifically are not showing much as they were in the first season specifically. But I can understand, like, we have so much more characters now that are in more importance, like the Red Lotus, for example. So someone would not have more, so much more screen time than others. Um, what more? Uh, at the fight, like bowling, really stupid. Jump in the water, like, come on, bowling. You should have more, you should have been more smart than that. Um, I still think like the show is kind of teasing me with bowling because I'm sure he will learn some kind of new bending besides earth bending that he had. So we have a, a possibilities of, of course, metal bending, sand bending, and lava bending. But we also have a fourth option, which is a new kind of bending that we never see before. Um, I not I don't think it's gonna be platinum bending. Will not make any sense because I feel that um, the show did not really explain much of this. Did not go further on into this, but I feel that it has something to do with personality and also in a way it's just like for example, you are a waterbender and then you became a healer. Is a specialization of waterbending. And then we have the the thing of healing of. Um, spirits that Unalock use a lot, you have to have, you have to be a healer to do that. So it's kind of, you have like Waterbender here, and then um, healing here, and then the spirit here, and you have to go to this path specifically. With Earthbending, it looks like that we have like Earthbending here, and then um, metal bending here, Platinum Bender here. So you need to go to this order specifically. Sand band is here and lava bending is here, for example. And I feel that from what we saw from metal benders, and I imagine platinum benders would have to be like strong, uh, firm pose, everything that we learned from Toph what she was teaching Ang. Lava bending looks like way more calm and serene, which is just like bowling. That's why I think is the favorite one for him to, to become. And then we have Sandbender that, well, that we did not see yet in this uh, in The Legend of Korra, but we saw in the Lesser Bender. Now, it could be a new type of bending. I don't know what could be. Uh, something that is not uh, lava, sand, metal. I don't know. Um... Maybe glass. I'm trying to remember if if we saw glass in in large quantity. I, I probably would be way more useful lava, like lava. You can do like whatever you want. Um, I don't know. Also, Zahir, uh, talking at the same time that he was meditating and talking with Cora. How the fuck he do that? It's a completely other level of what we saw with Jinora. Another thing, when he was in the spirit realm, he kind of teleported himself. I think we saw Jinora doing that as well. But like, was very close. Like, you know? How the fuck he did that? And it's something that he can only do in the spirit realm, I suppose, because if if he could do that in the normal realm as well, like that would be a trouble. Um. And now the Earth Queen is is kind of kidnapping Korra. Why? I was thinking about how. Korra wants to become to, to begin war wherever she she goes. But like this war the Earth Queen, Queen as well? Like come on! 
what she thinks is gonna happen when the other nations discover well the earth queen kidnapped the avatar like what the hell maybe republic city would not do anything but like uh the fire nation the water tribe like they will do the air nation that is just like a bunch of people but okay will do of course something so like you want a war against all other countries um yeah i think it's that i may be forgetting something but i still need to record more episodes so you know let me know what you think about this episode also let me know what series you want me reacting after i finish one punch man and i see you guys in the next episode